Hello again and welcome to the Louise Ginetta YouTube channel. I've been asked in the comments section below about the glues and I have done a glue video. Uh, it's called What Glues Do I Use? And that does talk about the attributes of the glues and why you would use them in what situations because that's what's so paramount to my practice and to the things that I've been trying to think about and show you because it's so important to think how it's going to work, how it dries, what sort of reaction the glues are going to have with the paint that you're expecting it to be used with afterwards. I'm going to show you how I mix my cellulose glue because that was one of the questions people asked. Right, so this is the cellulose glue mixed and it goes to a lovely clear paste. It's like a wallpaper paste. I have got something called Colourcraft it is from Colour Colourings and Adhesives Limited and I'll give you the instructions. It says sprinkle 20 grams into 600 millimetres of water. Stir briskly to avoid lumps. Leave for 24 hours to dissolve completely, then if necessary. Dampen paper to be used. Helps keep paste workable for longer. And I will put those up in the description below. But I'll show you how simple it is. It's you use it so like wallpaper paste. The only thing is, is you get nervous that you think you've made lumps in it. So you just sprinkle it. And even if there are lumps that appear, I don't bother to measure it out, I must admit, but I'm sure I should do. And so that's got lumps in it, but I wouldn't worry about it. I, I do make it so it's pretty thick that you can see it's a really thick consistency I mean again you'll find your own preferences won't you um, you'll see that is full of lumps and I'm not worried about it it says leave it overnight and the starch dissolves and that's it so I just do so, like so and bang the lid on you don't really use much glue at all of the paste at all. I've had this for a good while and it does, it glues beautifully. So dead easy. The thing I was going to tell you is that this isn't the sort of archival glue that, that you would do, use if you were really trying to give something archival quality. That is a methyl glucose and it's more expensive. You pay about, let's have a look, so for, for the methyl cellulose glue, for 43 grams, it would be £10.70. So that's a little jar, whereas this is just cheaper. And can be done, you know, your, you can use it for all your experiments. The thing about this glue as well is that it's flexible. It doesn't dry brittle. That's what is so important about it to me. So it's generally used as a fabric glue. Um, obviously if you washed it it would re-dissolve. It is reversible so you have to think about that when you're using it. If you are going to wash the stuff 